Oh, you're lucky. We're going to be doing your favorite lesson. That's right. It's another lesson on construction. It's cool. Today we're going to be constructing angle bisectors and parallel lines using a compass and a protractor. So go get your compass and protractor. I'll wait. I said get a compass and a protractor. Oh, I'm not going to argue. But just go do it. No, I don't want to do it. Good. All right. Great. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our compass and protractor and we're going to construct an angle bisector. To do that, we're going to have to take our compass and move it over here to point A, okay? What you want to do is move this any distance along this line. It doesn't matter. You pick the distance, it won't make a difference. And you're just going to draw an arc that goes through both sides of angle A, as shown here. Now we're going to move our compass here. And we're going to label these points of intersection. So where these, the arc intersects the side, we're going to name them, and we're going to call this B, and we're going to call this C. Good. That was the first step. Our second step is we're going to take our compass, and it doesn't matter what the setting is again, but I'm just going to use the same one, but we can move it in, out, doesn't matter. We're going to put it on point B, and we're going to draw a little arc in the middle, like so. All right? Using the same distance, the same compass setting, we're going to move this over to point C, all right? And we're going to draw another arc. So we're just going to draw another arc right through the middle. And that point of intersection we're going to name as well. We're going to call this point D. All right, we got A, B, C, and D. Those are the second and third steps. The final step is to take your compass, all right, and just draw a line through D. And this is your angle bisector. Now let me explain before we go on why this makes sense. What you did was you drew an arc, which gave you this distance over here is the same as this distance, all right? And the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from C to D. So the distance from B to D is the same as the distance from C to D. And that makes sense because an angle bisector should go right through the middle. And if it goes through the middle, these distances should be the same. So what I know now is since this is the angle bisector, I know this angle right here, our angle right here, is the same as this angle. So we've got to write a little congruent statement. And our congruent statement would be this. Angle BAD, that's this angle right here, is congruent to angle D, A, C. And that is how it's done. That is how you do an angle bisector. Now guys, feel free to watch this video a few times. Press pause in between each step and just follow along. All right, our second one, constructing parallel lines. To construct a parallel line to A, B that goes through point R, what we're gonna use is what we learned about parallel lines, that if corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. We're going to use that fact, and I'm going to show you how we're going to use that fact. But first, let's go through how to do this. So this first one is you're going to have to draw a line that goes through point R and line AB. So any line can go through point R and through line AB. It doesn't matter what it is. That's OK. If I want to move this over like this and move it over here, that's OK. But since I like the first one, let's start with that. So, good. All right? That's your first thing. Label your points of intersection. That's just good habits. So we got this point of intersection right here. We're going to call it J. Perfect. We have our transversal. Now that we've drawn our transversal, what we're going to do is construct congruent angles. And the way we do that is first we have an angle right here, right? RJB. And if you remember, the way to construct congruent angles, and that's from the last construction lesson, is you start by drawing an arc. All right? The arc doesn't matter where it is, just somewhere in the middle you draw an arc. Now you go to the end point of your other angle, if you want to construct congruent angles, and you draw an arc again. All right? Remember, we draw two arcs. It doesn't matter where they are. Well. Now what we want to do is label our points of intersection again. Just good habits, guys. So we got a point of intersection here. Let's call it D. We have a point of intersection here. Let's call it E. And a point of intersection here. Let's call it K. Good. 
Now the next part of drawing congruent angles is to measure the distance between these two, between the arc, okay? Basically, you're seeing how wide this angle is. So to do that, you just take your compass, you move it between D and E, and you just want to see how wide it is. So look, we're just checking how wide D and E is, how wide our angle is. D, J, E, this angle right here is this wide. Now to construct a congruent angle, we want this to be just as wide. So we move it over here, we put it on the arc, and we do a little, and we just draw our little X. All right, and let's label our point of intersection now. All right, this point is, let's say, it doesn't matter, L. So put the compass away, we don't need you anymore. And what you've done now is basically constructed congruent angles. This angle, is going to be the same as this angle once you draw a line through these two points of intersection. So let's see, I'm going to grab my line. You use a protractor, of course, and let's draw it right through R. Oh, that's a ray. Let's draw it right through R and L. And let's move it just down. And there you go. So look, it goes through R and L, and this angle. KRL is congruent to DJE, and because I've constructed two congruent angles and these are corresponding angles, I know that line AB is now congruent to RL, and it goes through R. Just to write that down for you, so we have proof that this is actually congruent lines, I know that angle DJE is congruent to angle KRL, and because Corresponding angles, corresponding angles are congruent. I know RL is parallel to AB. That's it. All right. And if you want to remember how to do corresponding angles, I mean, congruent angles, there's a lesson on it. You just go back to 1.6 and remember that lesson. It all comes back. And that's what I love about mathematics. You learn it, it comes back, you feel good. Okay, final one. We're gonna to try to draw a 45 degree angle. Now to draw a 45 degree angle, what you're going to do is use what you already know. And it takes two steps. One, you're gonna draw a perpendicular bisector. And if you remember, perpendicular means creating a 90 degree angle. All right, perpendicular means 90 degree angles. So that's when two lines intersect. Oh, that's not a good. That's not good. It's when two lines intersect to make 90 degree angles. So we're first going to draw a perpendicular bisector. And since this is 90 degrees, if I bisect it, I then cut into two 45 degree angles. But we're going to do it with a compass. So follow along with me. First step, as mentioned, we're going to start by drawing our perpendicular bisector. Now, once again, you've learned this from 1.6, so you should be able to follow along with me. First thing we do, oh, let's shorten this so we can do it. We take our compass, we extend it to this full length, and you draw this arc. And let me extend the page a little so you can see it. Then you move your compass to the other side, flip it around, measure it, see, once again, it's the whole distance, and you draw this arc. To get the perpendicular bisector, you just need to, oop, you just need to have your line go through both of these points of intersection. Good, and let's label our, our points of intersection just for good habits. We got A, B, call this one up here, C, D, and E. All right? And these are all 90 degree angles. Now since we have C, well, what do we call this? E, B. C, E, B is a right angle now. All right? Is 90 degrees. All right? Because it's our perpendicular bisector. To get a 45 degree angle, all I have to do is bisect this angle. So we're now going to use the skill we just learned of how to bisect angles. So let's move this over here, and we're going to bisect this angle. Let's, oh man, 
All right, I'm going to reset now. Now, to bisect an angle, we're going to use this whole skill all over again. First thing we do is draw an arc that goes through both sides. All right, good. Let's label these points. Let's call this point J and point K. We take our protractor and we draw, we go to point J and we're going to just draw an arc going through the middle. All right, just an arc going right through the middle. Doesn't matter where it goes. Oh, let, me, let me make this a little longer. And using the same, sorry, and using the same compass distance, you now move the compass over to the K, and you draw the same arc. Same, just draw another arc. And that point of intersection, I'm going to label it, label it F, and draw a line. Boom. So I'm going to zoom in on this a, lot, a little, and look. We now bisected this angle, and so since it's bisected, I know this angle and this angle are congruent. So that is how it's done. You draw a perpendicular bisector, you get a 90 degree angle, and then you bisect the 90 degree angle. And that is how you draw a 45 degree angle. Just for good habits, let's write a congruent statement. Angle JEF is now congruent to angle FE. At both 45. And that's it, guys. You are now G's at Constructions. Do your practice. Watch this video 30 times if you have to, and then you'll have it down. Good luck, guys.